guys welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back if you're a returning subscriber thank you for the support too i really appreciate a lot if you're new you are welcome i talk of relationships fashion beauty and life experiences in general so please subscribe now for today's video it will be a story time guys i know you really enjoy my stories so that is why i'm giving you a story and <laughs> let us start our story right away so guys today's story is about my friend and this time around is a man we are working together he was my colleague we are very close best friends but no strings attached i think you understand me but for him he did not see it that way he always wanted me to be his girlfriend he could even talk to friends to convince me to become his girlfriend but i did not change my mind it remained that way because to be honest i did not love him as a boyfriend i just loved him as a friend i didn't want him to be in a relationship with me so even friends could joke about it and tell me that this is luck take it you get old and rich at the age of 50 you don't have a boyfriend you start complaining and say that you are not lucky but you played with luck take it grab it <laughs> so i could laugh and it ends there so it continued like that and this man insisted i remember one day i went to visit his house and when we were talking he was like please i want to get married to you i really love you and at this time in my life it's like i've achieved all i have a house that he was building it wasn't ready yet but it was almost finished i have finished my studies and now i have a good job i think i have all in my life now i miss a wife so i want to marry you i think you make a good wife i told him please you need to understand me <laughs> i don't want to be in a love relationship with you i just like you as a friend so he was so sad about it but in the end he had to accept it <laughs> so it passed like six months without communicating with this friend of mine and one day he called me he told me that i am getting married on saturday it's like really you have a girlfriend he told me yes i have a girlfriend <laughs> so it, okay so guys on saturday that saturday that he said they got married and the photos were everywhere <laughs> in the internet facebook everywhere guys friends started calling me they were like you see we told you we told you you're not married yet and he is married <laughs> have you seen the photos have you seen the photos i was like yes i've seen all and i knew it he told me about it so it ended like that and life continued but we did not communicate after that i used only to see what's going on on facebook because he used to post a lot of photos with his wife and and family so it was like that so <laughs> one evening it was around eight I received a message from him he was just checking on me saying hello how are you it's it has been long since we communicated then i was happy to receive his message because we are friends guys so i asked him how is your family how is your wife he told me my wife is fine she's we are happy happily married I was like oh that's very good and i said you say hello to your wife so he told me okay i'll tell her and she knows about you i was like she knows about me really yes i told her that you refused to get married to me <laughs> so i was like you are crazy <laughs> so 
after after like 20 minutes i received another message a very strange message it was the wife then she was telling me that you bitch stop writing to my husband you go look for your own husband in all the place that you live you haven't found a husband for yourself god <laughs> at first i wanted to reply very rudely like the way she insulted me called me names but the other side of me told me you need to be very wise don't argue with this woman that you don't even know you just answer politely so what i did i just told her that oh but you should talk to your husband he's the one that sent me a message first and there is nothing bad that we talked about i even talked about you like to say hello to you so nothing bad nothing bad and i am not really in in need of your husband then she told me i am not interested of all what you're telling me i just want you to stop stop writing to my husband i don't want you to communicate i want it to end today i was like okay don't worry i understand but talk to your husband not to write to me also <laughs> so it ended there that night and i was very angry guys <laughs> very very angry you know that you feel like talking bad to a person but at the same time you don't want to sound rude because that is not what you are but she really pushed me so in the morning guys <laughs> i received another message like good morning how are you doing i was like oh my god this woman again what does she want from me <laughs> so i did not reply then after some time my phone rings when i saw when i looked at it it was him calling so i said if it is this woman then i'm ready to fight because this is too much now so when i received the call it was him <laughs> then i was like ah how are you he said i'm fine then i told him that oh you should stop calling me messaging me because your wife last night wrote me a message he was like really she wrote to you oh she would be stupid to do that i told him yes so what she did she deleted the messages after because after chatting with me i think he slept he did not look at his phone so afterwards that is when the wife got a chance to write to me so i was like that would be so stupid of her why write to you like that why call you names and i was like i don't know but that's okay what i want you to do not to call me not to write to me because i don't want troubles i don't want a person to insult me for nothing so he told me okay so we said goodbye and it ended like that guys so so guys it passed one year without hearing anything from my friend and i did not see anything on facebook or any social media him posting so i didn't know anything that was going on in his life and i had continued with my life because you can't force friendship if the wife doesn't want then it was a very wise thing to do there is no need to force yourself on a relationship that the other part doesn't want because the wife is part of his life so um after one year like i said i was in a bus going to work then i received a message and i was like oh 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 i hope it is not a wife trying to trick me or trying to want to fight with me again so i did not answer the message then 
another message arrived in my phone then I decided to answer I said maybe it's my friend let me answer if it is the fight then today I am going to fight <laughs> I won't act po politely again to her so it was him then I said how are you doing how is your family how is your wife then he told me what what family what wife I was like you are married <laughs> why are you telling me what wife then he said uh, my friend a lot of things happened to me a lot a lot of things because I really made a very big mistake marrying that woman then the first thing she told he told me was are you married I was like not yet I'm not married yet then he was like my friend I want to advise you don't you ever ever get married a wrong person don't you ever make a mistake marrying a person who is wrong if you make that mistake in your life then your life is messed up I was like what happened explain to me what happened he was like you cannot imagine after marrying my wife after six months of our marriage started a lot of problems she even brought the mother to live with us and they started fighting with me mother and daughter they could do whatever they want she could go clubbing she could go everywhere she wanted and she even betrayed me with a lot of men and i did not want to end my marriage i tried to solve everything but the worst thing she tried to kill me she tried to kill me and the mother was around so when that happened that is when i decided that i should end the marriage and when i told her that i want to divorce her when i went to work she took everything in the house everything everything when he returned the house was empty guys house was empty and he told me that because he used to spend a lot because the wife could ask and because he loves the wife then he could give so he, he spent a lot and even the wife took a lot of loans you know I've been working as a loan officer I know they are those women women who really like to take loans a woman can take a loan and go make a party guys so guys he told me that he has lost all and at that time we were chatting he told me that right now I am sleeping in a car I go to work when I, I return I sleep in my car I haven't found a house yet and the house he built the wife filed a case so the case was still in court she wanted them to share that house so he was very depressed frustrated and he even told me you remember how i suffered to build that house from nowhere this woman i've been married for six months wants the share of my house so i told him i am very sorry for all that happened and he told me no it's my mistake because I did not take time to know this woman. I just saw her at first sight and married her. That was the very biggest, biggest mistake that I made in my life. Because if I had took time to learn her or to get to know another woman very well, then I think things would have been very different. And I understand why you refuse to get married to me I know the reason why because you saw that I was in a hurry I said yes you are in a hurry yes I saw that and it's true guys he was really in a rush to get married like he did not want even to listen to me when I told him that 
I don't want to marry him because I like him as a friend. So he again told me, please, can we, can we become lovers? My, my request is still there. I still love you. <laughs> I was like oh my god i still like you as a friend really really i just want the best for you i want things to work out and a good thing you've learned from all that has happened now you need to take time he was like yes if you don't want me i don't want any woman for now at all i'm going to take a lot a lot of time I'm taking a break right now. I was like, that is a good thing to do because when you break up guys, never rush to enter into another relationship because you might be wanting to enter into a relationship just because you are depressed, just because you're frustrated, just because you want to hurt the other person. So it isn't a good thing to enter into a relationship just after the breakup so he did the right thing so guys i felt very sorry very very sorry that all that happened but what is to learn from this story is that you need to take time to know a person whether you are a woman whether you are a man get to know a person very well yes it is very difficult to know a person like the whole behavior of a person it is very difficult to know them within few time like few months but at least some behaviors that you can that you can know very early when you start get to know a person it is better then the others you can know them later but take your time to know a person before you run into getting married because marriage isn't a joke marriage is a journey <laughs> so if you want a person to grow old together you need to be very careful i think guys you've enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up share with your friends your family everyone that you think will enjoy this video comment what you think about this video watch my other videos too don't forget to subscribe please subscribe subscribe so that i can reach 1k because i'm almost there guys i am almost there let us meet in my next video ciao ciao